Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Kinshin Impact. We are continuing actually. Uh, this dungeon, I was farming some books to I got, but um, I remember I saw something. If you kill these, uh, this should spawn a secret boss here. So I want to try that. Uh, so let's break that as well. Ha <laughs> ha! He spawned. But where did he spawn? That's the real question. Ah, uh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> let's see how tough this guy is. Okay guys, I'm gonna say it right here. I was suspecting a lot more from that fight, and it almost killed her, him instead. Seriously? At least I got this out of it. I actually almost feel like that was not even worth it doing. I was really expecting a lot more. We're looking for the great Ujina Yokai! Who? Do you know where it lives? Nope. Ujina Yokai? What's that? Huh? You've never heard of it? It's a nope. sneaky monster that goes around playing tricks on people. It's got magic powers and can even shapeshift into anything it wants. Cause we finally found out how to chase it away. Yeah. Uh, okay. My dad said that the great Mujina Yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. So all we need to do is chase it away. Then we can come out and play whenever we want. This monster sounds scary though. Aren't you guys afraid? Surely your parents must be worried about you. Oh, not really. I told my dad that I was gonna find the great Mujina Yokai with some friends, and he didn't even say anything. Yeah, so weak, okay. It must be weak right now. It's probably hiding away so it can rest. I don't think it exists. Yeah, so as long as we get home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. Something sounds very strange about all this. Yeah, Paimon feels like the great Mujina Yokai is one of those storybook monsters that doesn't exist in the real world. We should tell them so they don't waste all their time looking for it. Oh, children, listen up. There's no need to go looking for the great Mujina Yokai, alright? Because it isn't real. Huh? No way. That's impossible. Your folks are just worried about you is all. They don't want you wandering too far from home because it's too dangerous. That's not true. The great Mujina Yokai it is. is definitely Yeah! Yoimiya is even making some weapons for us. And then she's gonna show us how to blow it up. Oh god, what is she doing? Yoimiya, huh? Wait, Why is she making weapon to kids? Works prison break, Yoimiya? We told her all about the great Mujina Yokai. She said we shouldn't be scared of it. We should learn how to chase it away instead. Oh, this is bad. We've been waiting <sighs> for ages now. And finally, Yoimiya said that today's the day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yoimiya plays with us and tells us stories all the time. She... But... But... <sighs> Come on. Let's get out of here and go find Yoimiya. Wait! Hold on! Don't go! Who knows what Yoimiya's got to do with this? Let's follow the kids and see what's going on. I don't think that's a good uh, idea to give kids fireworks. That's feel like a thing that's gonna go wrong. Cheer up, guys. Don't be so down. She was only joking back there. How could the great Lugina Yokai not exist, huh? Because it doesn't exist. Believe it. But we've never seen it for ourselves. That's because the great Lugina Yokai is extra powerful. And that's exactly why I need your help, isn't it? It's okay. Don't be discouraged. Hey, remember, if you want to be a hero, you gotta have patience. And wisdom, too. Even if you can't find it right now, it'll definitely show up before the firework show starts. So, remember to come and pick up your weapons from me before then, okay? No matter how powerful the great Mujina Yokai might be, it's no match for my specially made fireworks. Just, it's up to you guys to protect your homes, your crops, and your folks. Thank you, Yoimiya. We're gonna go back now. Oh, thanks, Yoimiya. Come play with us soon. Sure thing, we will do. Take care on the way back, and I'll see you later. Oh, we so meet again. <laughs> of course. The way the kids described you. No worries, though. I'm not blaming you. The great Mujina Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. Okay, but it definitely doesn't exist. Yeah, the first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with to stop the kids from running off all the time. 
but when the kids asked me about it, I didn't want to break it to them. I just told them that it looks cute and likes to play pranks and doesn't hurt people. Huh. So in a way, this monster is all a product of your creativity? Yeah. Maybe so. In any case, I'm not going to be the one who exposes it. Sure, it's likely that the parents just wanted to stop the kids from staying out all the time. But they could have easily had other reasons, too. If I just go ahead and tell them that the great Mujina Yokai doesn't exist without knowing the full story, then who knows? I might be doing more harm than good. Besides, they're just kids. They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. That's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. I know that they don't really exist, but I still enjoy believing in them. If someone came up to me and started telling me to stop being so stupid, they don't exist. No, no, no. I'd give them the evil eyes and tell them to get the heck out of my face because uh, ugh, it's just so annoying. Because maybe it doesn't matter so much if something's real or not. Maybe magic and awesomeness are what makes something worth believing. When you were kids, surely you guys believed in things like heroes who slew dragons and sacred swords that cut through darkness. It's the same thing. If we tear apart these kids' fairy tales now, what else do we have to tell them? That Inazuma's locked down? All the grim tales of the Vision Hunt decree? Yeah, I let's tell him. I think it's a bit too early for all of that. Uh, yeah! Oh, way too early. For sure! <laughs> Whether you understood me or not, don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids and make sure they stay safe. Okay, it's about time I headed back. The Nagano Hara Fireworks Show is just around the corner, and there's still a lot of things to get ready. Nagano Hara Fireworks Show? Well, yeah. I mean, that's why our name is on the event. It's well known throughout Inazu. Oh, on the subject, are you busy these days? If not, then you should totally come along. I'll prepare an extra pretty firework just for you. <laughs> In that case, come with me to Naganahara. We'll go see my bots. There's still a few fireworks to finish off before the show. Let's go! Hey, Hello! The fireworks show is almost upon us, and the fireworks for each family are almost ready. Oh, new faces? Who are these two? Friends or cousins? Grab law. A bit of both, actually. They arrived in Inazuma just recently. Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rienosuke, will tell you all about the long history of the Naganaharas. That can wait. Pops, I need to ask you about something. something <sighs> Pops has started telling his stories again. Don't. Sorry rock, about this. Uh, ever since burn. Pops had his but accident, his ears don't work too well. Really? But for a moment the there, it almost seemed like power. you were having a coherent conversation. Pops, Pops, wait! Huh? What? What's that? Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered yet? Oh! Yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. So have the ones from the day before yesterday. And the ones from the day before that. No, Pops, I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. <laughs> we should have arrived today. Ah, oh, today's fireworks are almost ready too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Your old oh, God. skills are still as sharp as ever. Materials! Oh, oh, the materials! Yes, yes, the materials! Sorry, sorry, Paimon got all excited because you finally got the message across. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the materials aren't here yet. The couriers did come over to explain why, but, well, I think they did, but... I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. No worries. As long as we know, that's fine. We can just make them later. Oh, uh, don't forget to take the goods in when they deliver them. Okay, Pops? Of course. Leave it to me. Oh, sorry if we were a little loud. It's always the way, though. It's like that every time I need to ask Pops something. Huh? That's my Pops. He's a good person, all right. Everyone around here respects him. You and Mia? <laughs> There's a ghost. I guess. There. Sorry. Hold on. Who is it? I'm coming over. Hello. Who is it? Hello. Anybody? Who is it? Come on. No Who is coming. it? Okay. You can come out now. <sighs> We're lucky that no one from the Tenryo Commission was around. Otherwise, we'd all be in big trouble. 
Who's this guy? Sorry, I guess I was a little rash, but when I heard you come back, I just... Don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to plan. We're going to look for firework materials shortly. While we're out, we'll sort out the boat situation for you, as promised. Thank you for all your help. He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put out a warrant for his arrest. All we can do is find him a boat and send him out of Inazuma again. Yeah, we know it's going to be dangerous, but there aren't many other options left. What if the boat capsizes? <sighs> Drowning is really scary. I mean, we are not going on the boat, so... If things are this bad, couldn't you have just not come back in the first place? Well... There's something I felt I had to do. Well, <laughs> as soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for I taking me in. That things would turn out the way they have. It'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. I'll still try and come up with a different solution. Whatever their reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. Thank you. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. All right. Well, I guess we're helping this guy now. Here in the open for right? Too long. Hurry up and get back inside. So we're gonna steal a boat. As as I have an All right. I'll I'll leave it to you Speaking then. Up, I guess. You guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? Uh, I didn't. Even then, we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Haragi Chisato of the Kanjo Commission. Oh, I see. So you had big shots helping you. I guess yeah. that won't be of much help to Sakujiro. Uh, I just wish but the, the big shots. Was a bit more flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? Well, no matter what, I have to find a way to help him. I'm sorry. I invited you to come watch the fireworks, but now I have to run a few errands. You don't have to join me if you don't want to. I can go sort out the firework materials in the boat by myself. And then you can come meet me back at the house later. Oh, cool! Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. We can chat along the way. Okay. Yeah, um, if it's fine with you, can I ask how you two first met? She saved me from drowning this one time, and after that, we started traveling together. Why do you ask? <sighs> Nothing. Oh. I'm just quite envious of your relationship. Bob's had a person like you around. Who's being deaf with and hold things up all the time? Uh, 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 why do you look so excited? You said person and not floating child or mascot. Floating child, mascot. I did say it. Okay, let's see what's up with this guy. Hello. Koichi, I'm here. How is the boat coming along? Yeah, it's uh. All right, I guess. Um, I, I guess what does that mean? Oh, wait, wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? Uh, yeah. Oh, don't worry, they're my friends. You can trust them. Yeah, you can say we're all in the same boat here. Oh, that was bad. Uh, that was bad, Primal. Oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Because of the Sokoku Decree, the Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding to know what we plan on doing with it. It's a real nuisance. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. Uh, I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time. So just consider this my way of saying oh, thank you. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. About the first time you ordered fireworks for my family. That's a long story, actually. Weird old oh, story. no, 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 no. Oh, maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat yeah, here. Yeah, okay. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, got caught up in the conversation there. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it for now. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an interesting reaction from him. Understandable. I'm uh, again, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. What I meant to say was, while Koichi is bringing the boat here, we should try to find some fireworks. We need to make fireworks not just for you guys, but for those kids and Sakajiro as well. I'll be fine. 
It's actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. So, what you're trying to say is that you enjoy the work? Oh, I do! I really do! Being born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom! And then, uh, uh... What I really remind me of Klee so much. About me. It'll all be fine. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's just that good conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes, you know? Let's head to the city. I think I'll try my luck with some people that I know. I hope that she's never gonna meet Klee. That would end terrible. These two meet. Oh, oh my god, that would end terrible. Terrible. Hello, Morigo. How's business these days? <laughs> Yoy Mia, there you are. I thought you might show up. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. Huh? Really? How did you know? Because a fireworks show is coming up. And that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last minute materials. I've come to expect it now. There's always a few extras unaccounted for, eh? Oh, so sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. It's on the house. Oh, no, you don't. That's out of the question. Don't worry. Just take it as a token of my gratitude. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Don't do this to me. Can't we just play by normal business rules here? I already said it's fine. Please, just take it. Surely you've got a load of other things you need to get done today. Um, well, how about this then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? All right, then. If you insist, pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. Anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. Let's go make some fireworks. If I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yarmia gets leading up to the fireworks show. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. No worry. Oh, oh wait. Actually, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, how about this? Do you need a hand? As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? Uh, that will depend on my master. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. Talkative as ever, I see. Dear child, the essence of Amenoma art is patience and focus. Badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but this is a special circumstance, surely? The Naginohara fireworks show is right around the corner. So give me your ore, and I will process it for you. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Amenoma. You're quite welcome. The Naga Nohara fireworks show is an important event. Wow, Mr. Aminoma! Just look at the shape and size of these grains! It's beautiful! I'm at a loss for words. It's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Of course. I have studied these techniques my okay, whole life. time to head off. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. Where are we going meet him? Oh, just over there. Just as I thought, he isn't back yet. But not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice long chat with you all day. Oh god. I'm sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me, though. It's all gone really smoothly. Yoimiya, yeah. I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head over to the boat. Or, uh, did you want to keep chatting a little longer? Okay, good. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. That's way too small. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. 
Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. I'm also hoping Sakajiro will and have your fireworks to... are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. While you're... Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third Sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Who's Third Sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. Mm -hmm. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They were a tightly knit group of friends. But eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, and after that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yeah, no matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be ch chatting away like in the old days. To us, <laughs> those memories are eternal. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakajiro. Yeah, I should get out of here too. The boat is already and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. Uh, uh what now? After how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terio Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Tenryo Commission does catch up to you, they make a run for the boat. Okay, I won't let them catch me. But... <sighs> no, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission... If only they weren't so overzealous, they're... Oh, that's right! That elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryo Commission, isn't he? Yeah, quite high up as well. That's it. I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Um, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. All right. You should get back indoors, Sakajiro. Okay, let's go! T wait! Hang on. What about the fireworks? All those materials? Oh, there's so many orders to finish. Pops? Pops? <laughs> no, never mind. <gasps> I know! I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. Must be these two. <laughs> wow. If it isn't Yoi Mia, are these two your friends? Yeah. Yes. They're travelers from afar. Oh, uh, before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. Oh, thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every year. First your father, and now I you... I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started, I suddenly felt that if I went any further, I wouldn't be able to get back up. No worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. No, no, no. We can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up. But once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come by more often. It's no trouble, really. We don't mind helping. Do I need to cut these? Oh, okay. Cut, cut, and last one. Yeah, you got it. And that should just about do it. That was quick. Ah, oh, young people are so handy. Younger people have bundles of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. Was there something you needed to discuss? Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. 
Hmm. Hmm. Sakujiro. So he came back. Huh? You know him? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. <sighs> they were inseparable. They grew up together, shared everything with each other, and went everywhere together. But one day, they had a terrible argument. Sakujiro seemed to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful, and wanted to see what the outside world was like. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. If it was anything else, I could talk to Keisuke, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. What a strange coincidence! Who'd have th I understand now. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Tenryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Tenryo Commission's most wanted list. Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. Yes. Oh, it'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their grudges. Yoimiya, something bad's happened. Some people what? from the Tinryo Commission came by. Uh oh. Huh? Why? Pops, are you alright? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. But they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Luckily, Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tinryo Commission wasn't able to capture him. Oh, this is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Sorry, my ears are no good. And I didn't get a good look at them either. I wish I'd caught their names. As it happens, I did. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. Just so oh. if Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. We can't let that happen. Come with me. Let's go after them. Hi, Yoi Mia. Hey, Are kids. Are you to scare away the great Mujina yokai ready yet? Nope. Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Got also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary-looking men come by here at all? Yep, we did. It looked like they were chasing someone. Where did they were go? They trying to catch a monster too? No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will. We'll be on our best behavior. Ah, uh, there they are. Look, there are people from the Tenryo Commission over there. Hello. Sorry, official business. I can't. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Let's beat him up then. Well, you've only got yourself to blame. Bring it on. Fire. Oh, yeah. Fire arrows. Fire arrows. <laughs> just, just I. Melt, melt, melt. Just melt damage. Give me that melt damage. Nice. How dare you impede the work of the Tenryo Commission? You will be punished for your actions. There is nowhere you can escape justice. Not even at the edges of the world. Bye. Look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. If this is to be my fate, I accept it. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever Wait. you say. 
It doesn't have to end like this. Don't you have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl, who makes the fireworks. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It it's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. And why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To talk everything I through. gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. What are you talking about? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. Keisuke, you seem to like settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel. If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings. And the same goes for you, Sakujiro. If I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, this. Destroy, dude. <laughs> Sir, they are too strong. We need more men. Stand down. W what? He lost. I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Y yes, sir. Sorry. You are just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Because... Sakajiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. The reason I came back is that it wasn't that I'd changed my mind. I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here? No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. But now, my role is to punish violators of the Sakoku Decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I, I do wonder. Am I really doing the right thing? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma. But that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, what will you say to the higher-ups? Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated. But it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. And don't kick the bucket. Don't worry, Keisuke. I won't. Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? Hmm. Maybe next anyway, time. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. My pops will set off the firework that I wanted to give to you. Guys, have you seen this? It is actually here. Right there. <laughs> I didn't know this. Oh my god, that's awesome. Right there is the travels and Ayaka. Hi. Wow. Nice. I didn't know that was there. Wow. Oh, there he is. Come to another episode of Kinchin Impact. We are continuing actually at uh, this dungeon. I was farming some books to Ayaka, but um, I remember I saw something. If you kill these, uh, this should spawn a secret boss here. So I want to try that. Uh, so let's break that as well. 
Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> He spawned. But where did he spawn? That's the real question. Ah, uh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how tough this guy is. Okay, guys, I'm gonna say it right here. I was suspecting a lot more from that fight. And it almost killed him, him instant. Seriously? At least I got this out of it. I actually almost feel like that was not even worth it doing. I was really expecting a lot more. We're looking for the great Ujina Yokai. Who? Do you know where it lives? Nope. Ujina Yokai? What's that? Huh? You've never heard of it? It's a nope. sneaky monster that goes around playing tricks on people. It's got magic powers and can even shapeshift into anything it wants. Because we finally found out how to chase it away. Yeah, uh, okay. My dad said that the great Mujina Yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. So all we need to do is chase it away. Then we can come out and play whenever we want. This monster sounds scary, though. Aren't you guys afraid? Surely your parents must be worried about you. Oh, not really. I told my dad that I was gonna find the great Mujina Yokai with some friends, and he didn't even say anything. Yeah, so weak, okay. It must be weak right now. It's probably hiding away so it can rest. I don't think it exists. Yeah, so as long as we get home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. Something sounds very strange about all this. Yeah, Paimon feels like the great Mujina Yokai is one of those storybook monsters that doesn't exist in the real world. We should tell them so they don't waste all their time looking for it. Oh, children, listen up. There's no need to go looking for the great Mujina Yokai, alright? Because it isn't real. Huh? No way. That's impossible. Your folks are just worried about you is all. They don't want you wandering too far from home because it's too dangerous. That's not true. The great Mujina Yo It is. is definitely Yeah! Yoimi is even making some weapons for us. And then she's gonna show us how to blow it up. Oh god, what is she doing? Yoimiya, huh? Wait, Why is she making weapon to kids? 